Hello friends, welcome to Planets and Houses. In this video, I am going to explain the concepts of Ascendant Sign, Sun Sign and Moon Sign. 95% of the people refer to a wrong zodiac sign. Trust me guys, if you will watch this video till the end, you will never get confused in your life to determine your zodiac sign. I am going to explain the concepts behind this in the easiest possible way. And yes, you need no prior knowledge of astrology to under understand this concept. If you are an astrology enthusiast, then spare 5 minutes of your time to learn the concept behind zodiac signs. I have analyzed people asking their friends and relatives about their sun signs. And they quickly answer with whatever sign they think is their zodiac sign. But do they actually know their correct zodiac sign? In astrology, we generally refer three types of signs. Ascendant sign, sun sign and moon sign. Allow me sometimes to explain these signs in the easiest possible way so that you can gather the best basic understanding about all three signs. Ascendant sign is also called rising sign and in Hindi it is called Lagna. It simply means your physical body at the time of your birth, whichever sign was rising in the eastern horizon is eventually your ascendant sign. To get a better understanding about the ascendant sign or say rising sign, please watch my video how to read a birth chart in Vedic astrology. You can find the link of this video in the description below. As I mentioned earlier, ascendant sign is a sign which describes your physical body, your temperament, behavior, nature, vitality, health, personality and your overall outlook. Please don't get confused with the terms which I am referring to. What I simply want to convey is that it is the one of the most important sign which a person should know about. So how would you know that? Which ascendant do you belong to? It is very simple. Just look at your birth chart and look at the first house. Let me show you where exactly the first house is positioned in your chart. And from the first house, when you go counterclockwise, all the houses are positioned. You will find a number written here in the first house. This number is nothing but a zodiac sign number and as we all know that there are total 12 zodiac signs which are arranged in chronicle order and they never changes. The very first sign in the zodiac sign is Aries, then comes Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, Leo, Virgo, Libra, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Capricorn. Aquarius and finally the 12th sign is Pisces. Whichever number you see in the first house is the number of the chronically arranged zodiac sign. For example, if it is the number 5, it means it's the Leo sign. As Leo is the 5th sign in the zodiac belt and if it is the number 2, then your ascendant sign is Taurus. As Taurus is the second sign in the zodiac belt. Let's now try to understand about sun sign. But before that, let me share what sun represents in a birth chart. Friends, life on the earth is sustained by manifestation of almighty sun. We cannot think of life on the earth without sun. In terms of astrology, sun is the center of extreme power and all planets orbit around it due to its gigantic gravitational force. It is the soul and plays a dynamic role in the lives of all human beings. In birth chart, sun represents soul, father, government, courage, heart, chest, stomach, bones, etc. It stays in a zodiac sign for one whole month. So when we talk about sun sign, we generally refer to the position of sun in our birth chart. And whichever sign the sun sits in is your sun sign. Let me make it easier for you. Just notice the number in the house where the sun is positioned. 
let me show you it to you with the help of an example in this chart you can see that sun is sitting in the fifth house and you can notice that number six is written here friends number of every house are always fixed only their lordship changes you can see that the fifth house is occupied by the number six and what zodiac sign comes at number six yes it's virgo as Virgo is the sixth zodiac sign, so the sun is sitting in the Virgo sign and it means that your sun sign is Virgo. What the sun in the fifth house of Virgo sign represents? We will discuss in upcoming videos. In Western astrology, your sun sign could be Libra. As it is based on tropical zodiac, there is one sign difference in both the systems and Western astrology Zodiac signs are arranged by date ranges. For example, from March 21st to April 19th, it is Aries. And from April 20th to May 20, it is Taurus and so on. To understand the differences between these two astrology systems, you can refer my last video, Western versus Vedic Astrology. Again, you can find the link of this, this video in the description below. So next when you read your horoscope in a magazine or in a newspaper, just check out what system it is based on. If you see a date range uh, like March 21st to April 19th as Aries, it means that it is based on western system. In India, most of the horoscopes are based on moon sign. Now let's understand what a moon sign represents in your birth chart. But before that, let's get to know the significances of moon. The moon stays in a sign for two and a half days. And as the position of moon changes, it will bring corresponding changes in the prediction of an individual. In a birth chart, it primarily represents mental energy, but it also represents emotions, imaginations, creativity, intuitiveness, sentiments and protections. Now let's understand what a moon sign is. Look at the position of moon in your birth chart. It is represented by MO or CH. Now follow the same process as we did for the finding the sun sign. This sign is moon sitting in. Let's understand this with the help of an example. For say, the moon is sitting in the ninth house, please notice the number in the ninth house. It is number 10. And the 10th zodiac sign is Capricorn. Hence, it simply means that the moon sign is Capricorn for this individual. So friends, these were the differences between ascendant sign, sun sign and moon sign. If you find this video helpful and if it cleared your doubts regarding the differences between ascendant sign, sun sign and moon sign, please do not forget to hit the like button. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, kindly hit the subscribe button as well so that you can get the updates about my upcoming videos. In my next video, I am going to discuss about most frightful Manglik Dosh in detail. Many innocent people are fooled on the name of Manglik Dosh. I will share how this dosha is formed and what are the various societal facts and myths about it. Till then, stay tuned. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon in my next.